Welcome. In this video, we are creating a multi-threading program to demonstrate the amazing capability of parallelism in Java, which is offered via threads. Runnable interface is one way, one very important way of creating threads in Java. First, let's have a look at the question at our hand. Uh, we need to create a program to demonstrate multi-threading using runnable interface. We are about to define three different threads, one to calculate squares of first n integers and another to calculate cubes of first n integers and another thread to uh, create uh, calculate a square root of first n integers. So, uh, this will be the three threads and to these three threads, uh, we need to apply different uh, thread priorities and we need to run them parallelly. To start with our program, we need to create three kinds of threads, three different kinds of threads and hence, we may need to write three different thread classes. Um, one will be calculating squares of first n integers. Uh, maybe we can name that thread as square. And then uh, next, next thread will be calculating cube. And uh, we will name that thread as cube thread. And uh, next would be uh, square root. Square root. Uh, you can name like this. So you can give any meaningful name. Uh, like this, we may able to uh, name these different threads and also we need a main class right to create these threads and uh, run them we may need to have a main class so henceforth we will be having four different classes in this java program first let us create the first thread class uh, the class square as we need to implement runnable interface we need to put a uh, put an additional keyword implements and we should type um, uh, we are implementing runnable interface so this is required to create threads using um, runnable interface and uh, this is one thread class similarly we need to create three different thread class uh, classes right square another one is cube and uh, another one uh, to compute square root we have uh, one class for uh, computing square one class for computing cube and one uh, class for computing square root okay so we have three classes and then we need one class to have the main method so i'll just put uh, another class uh, this is my main class so uh, we we have four different classes and as you know if you implement a um, runnable interface you should and must write public um, void run method so let me put run method inside that inside each class i will put oh, sorry we need to put the run method um, that should be there in uh, each class which implements runnable interface. As you see the question, we need to compute uh, squares, cubes or square roots for first n integers. Um, so, we need that n, right? So, we need to create a uh, property n. Um, and it is integer as uh, it is given in the question that is supposed to be integer hence i'll write int n uh, this should be there in all the thread classes let me copy that to each thread class so coming back to the square class uh, we have n and we have uh, implemented uh, run method now uh, the run method is actually blank right there is nothing inside it so, what we need to do uh, to compute squares, we need to uh, write the instructions. 
So inside the run method, what instruction I should write? I should uh, write or I should create a for loop uh, or any loop uh, to start with uh, some number and sh I should uh, move up to n. And each time I should uh, uh, multiply uh, a number uh, with the same number to find the square, right? So I'll write the code. I'll use for loop. Uh, I will start with the i as 1, I will start from 1 and I will go up to n, um, each time incremented by 1. Now I need to display the square, hence I will write square of i is equal to i into i. Similarly for the cube, we should compute the cube, we, here also we should use a loop and uh, uh, here cube of i will be i into i into i, three times multiplied. We also need to compute square root in square root thread class and uh, we have an amazing uh, facility of Java Lang library. Um, here we have uh, math dot square root, the square root method to compute uh, square, of, square root of a particular number. Hence, we can easily display square root. And uh, uh, we are done with the square root class implementation. Um, in each class, uh, is each thread class, square, cube, and uh, square root are thread classes. You, you may write thread after this square root uh, to indicate they are, uh, uh, they are kind of thread classes. Or uh, you, you can create threads uh, uh, right in the uh, main class. Oh, okay. In the main class, we need to add the main method, right? So, we will just add that main method, uh, public static void main with the string arguments. We will have a main. Sorry. Here we have the main. And uh, what we need to do in the main, um, first, uh, if you uh, want to demonstrate thread, you need to create thread objects. To create thread objects, uh, you need nothing uh, as a constructor, but uh, you need to give some value to this n, right? Each thread class is having some n here. And uh, hence, uh, we may first uh, give, get some values, input value for n. So for that, let us uh, use the scanner. If you use a scanner in your program, you should import it. And hence, we will also add an import line at the beginning of the uh, class. If you have package statements, you should be, be careful to preserve that statement. And uh, uh, we have read n and after that we need to create our classes. Let's create our create objects. Uh, we have defined classes. We need to create objects inside me. For that we will write like this. Uh, square cube and square root. For that, I have written uh, variable names uh, sq, cu, and rt. Uh, these are objects of these different classes. Uh, these are not sufficient. We need to create um, threads, right? Uh, before creating threads, I, uh, let me assign uh, value of n. We have read the n, but we have not assigned it to um, these uh, objects objects created uh, thereafter and select me assign the value of n so value of n is assigned and uh, square square root sorry square objects n uh, cube objects n and square roots objects uh, n all will point to n or uh, uh, everyone's value is set to n and then let's create threads so three di different threads we need and hence uh, let me write thread uh, ta thread tb thread tc so three threads will be created using run um, runnable uh, uh, implementation objects sq cu and rt now they are uh, becoming thread a thread b and thread c now we need to do the uh, program so uh, I mean, uh, we need to run these different threads. For that, uh, we need to, we may, we, uh, we don't need to actually mandatorily do, but we need to 
uh, assign as part of the question uh, we need to assign some priorities here in the question they have specified we need to apply some thread priority and hence we will apply some thread priority then we will start the thread and we will wait till the completion and uh, this code should be written inside try catch because the a running thread can be interrupted and hence we will write all these things inside try catch so here we are try catch block and uh, uh, we have uh, applied some thread priority for uh, first thread uh, square computation thread i have uh, given maximum priority and uh, square root computation thread i have given minimum priority then i have uh, started all the threads thread a b c and then um, we need to wait till uh, these three different threads are completed otherwise if we just simply end the program without uh, applying join method then uh, our program might end abruptly uh, while the threads are being executed and hence we will wait and uh, uh, while waiting we may get the interruption and hence we need to manage interrupted exception also so this is about the thread program this is fairly simple but this is amazingly powerful try this program thank you very much and take care hey wait um, let me remind you uh, watch for the thread priorities you may change the thread priority and watch, watch which uh, thread completes first yeah see you